Okay, let's take a look here at how to solve some word problems regarding the index of refraction. Before we get started, we're gonna to have to identify two equations that we're going to need to use. So the first one is that n, the index of refraction, is equal to c, the speed of light in air or in a vacuum, divided by v, the speed of light in whatever medium we're talking about. So c is a constant. It's always going to be 3.00 times 10 to the eight meters per second. And then n and v are either what you're gonna be solving for or it's gonna to have to be given to you in the question. The second equation we're gonna be using is n equals sine of the angle of incidence divided by sine of the angle of refraction. So to be able to solve this, you're going to need a calculator and you're going to need to know how to use your trig functions. Okay, so this first question tells us that the speed of light in ice is 2.29 times 10 to the eight, and that should read meters per second. And it's asking us to calculate the index of refraction, obviously here in ice. So let's consult our table. We see that um, ice here is 1.31. So that's given to us. What we're gonna do now here is just verify um, whether or not we are correct. So uh, let's start off by writing down everything we know. So we know what's given to us in the question, which is that the speed of light in ice is V, and that's 2.29 times 10 to the eight meters per second. And we always know C, 3.00 times 10 to the eight meters per second. It asks us to calculate the index of refraction. So that means it's asking us to calculate N, if you go through all your variables and you look back at the equations, um, it becomes pretty obvious that the equation we're gonna use is n equals c over v. So now let's go ahead and do a little bit of math. We're gonna rewrite our equation over here and we're gonna plug in everything we know. So 3.00 times 10 to the eight divided by 2.29 times 10 to the eight. If you plug that into your calculator, it's gonna be 1.31. And that matches up exactly with our known value for the index of refraction of ice. Because this is a word problem, you should always finish off with a word answer. So therefore, the index of refraction of ice, or ice is 1.31. And just note that that is dimensionless. There's no units for index of refraction. It's um, like a ratio, so there's no value in terms of like meters or seconds. This next question is asking us to calculate the speed of light in zircon. So we're going to write out everything we know, which really isn't much to start with. Uh, we know C is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the eight meters per second. That's pretty much it in terms of what the question gives us. So let's consult our table over here on the right. And we can see here, there is zircon, and it tells us that the n value is 1.92. So n equals 1.92. Let's identify our unknown, which is going to be the speed of light, so v. And then let's rewrite our equation, n equals c over v. And note that we can't use this uh, in the form that it's given. So if we rearrange this, do a little bit of algebra, we end up with v equals c over n. This equation we can use because v is on the left side. So let's rewrite that one last time. Plug in uh, our known values, three times 10 to the eight, divided by 1.92 is gonna give us a final result of 1.56 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Finish that off uh, with a therefore statement. Therefore the speed of light in uh, zircon is 1.56 times 10 to the eight meters per second. This last example is going to have us make use of the second equation we introduced, the one that uses your trig functions, your sines and your uh, angles. So uh, what is the angle of refraction if an incident ray enters an acrylic medium at an angle of 30 degrees? So we have acrylic here. Let's write out our givens. So we know that the n value is gonna be 1.49. 
we have the incident ray uh, because it tells us that the angle of incidence ray enters at 30 degrees and we're looking for the angle of refraction. So we have the incident ray 30 degrees and we're looking for the refracted ray. So recall that our equation is uh, n equals sine theta i over sine theta r. We can't use this one as it's written. We're going to have to rearrange it. Um, if I rearrange this, I end up with sine theta r equals sine theta i over n. And we're actually not quite done with that, but we're going to um, do that in, a, in another step later on. So let's rewrite our equation. sine theta r equals sine theta i over n. Plug in everything we know. And if we throw all that into a calculator, we end up with this answer, 0 0.33557. And I've kept a, kept a couple extra decimal places here. Uh, just when we're working with these trig functions, uh, you're going to end up rounding. So, we note that we're not actually done. Uh, a mistake will be to stop here and leave that as your answer. But remember that we're solving for theta r, so the angle of refraction, not sine theta r. So there's one last step here. So the opposite of this is we're not going to divide by sine because we can't do that. Sine's not a number. Um, but we're going to take the inverse. So that means our final answer is going to be something like this. So if we plug this, into a calculator with um, this sine negative one being the inverse of sine. Usually in a calculator, it's a second function button and then sine. We're going to get an answer that makes a little bit more sense. So we're going to get 19.6 uh, degrees. So that makes more sense, obviously, than like 0 0.3 degrees. So therefore, the angle of fraction is approximately 19.6 degrees. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, get subscribed, leave a comment below, and check out our suggested videos. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates.